What is up guys? This is the Rifleman and welcome to my new campaign and as you can see the new campaign is Mexico. So I checked the uh, the vote count at uh, the time I said at 8 o'clock on the 8th of the 8th 2019 and it was 15 votes each to Mexico and the Italian states. And for me the decider was the sort of engagement that uh, different options had on the in the um, comment section and Mexico there's a, there's about a handful of comments talking about Mexico and lots of people were liking those comments so of the two I felt that was probably the one to go for um, in terms of a tiebreak situation and yeah so let's get to it so we are Mexico we have Santa Fe New Mexico which is earning nothing it's actually losing well i can't lose money but it's shrinking less than nothing um i own mexico new spain standard and i also own antigua guatemala and guatemala so let's have a look at the wider region so key thing to remember is there are no pirates so my initial plan when i was thinking about playing as mexico would be to pirate hop to expand my um trade empire in that way but can't do that because there are no pirate nations there is a new nation so there is no new but there is no spain new spain rather um spain has been broken up into mexico spain still holds panama but there's a new nation gran colombia <clears throat> which don't want to get too friendly with because i'm going to want to expand down in this direction so I'm not going to get too friendly with them um big changes well the next big change is that the united states is in the game they are rocking and rolling. They are the 13th colonies. They've declared independence because, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it is 1821. It's at this point, I should feel I should mention that um, the mods I'm running, I'm playing Darth Mod and I'm also playing all factions Darth Mod compatible. So just Google those things. And then you set in the Darth Mod settings it to Darth Mod Empire late and it opens up Mexico and Quebec and a whole bunch of other factions like Afghanistan and crazy numbers um, but yes yeah, so this is where we are right now um, so this is the Mex this is the Americas so well they've swapped York Factory and Rupert's Land these were in the regular game these the other way around the natives that own this region are gone Newfoundland has been taken by the British in India the Marathas are more established, the Mughals are defeated a bit, the Brits have taken the French territory in eastern India. Um, a new nation has arisen, Afghanistan, which this was e previously either uh, Mughal Empire or Persian, I believe. The Ottomans are still pretty standard. Um, we've got the Russians, it's pretty normal. We've got the Poles, the Austrians... I think everything's pretty similar here except for this where Austria owns Brussels rather than Spain. Denmark's pretty normal, Britain's pretty normal, Spain, Morocco. Savoy and Sardinia. Oh, Greece is an independent nation. So you've got Athens and you've got Patras as a separate nation. The Crimean Kante still exist. I think that's pretty much it. So the game's a bit different. Um, the countries are a bit different, but the big difference for Mexico at the start of the game is because this is not normally a playable nation, nobody hates us. There is absolutely no positive or negative ill feeling. So right from the off, we can choose who our allies will be in the longer term. So as we are Mexico, we are probably not going to want to trade with Spain because we don't want Spain to be strong. Spain are ultimately probably going to be our biggest short-term enemy um because we're going to want to expand in the caribbean and i'm not likely to have much of a navy to counter them so i'm probably going to want britain on my side so let's go to i could just go here to show you all the nations that have been nations that have uh, arisen so in terms of major nations they are grand colombia greece and mexico and quebec and my phone is buzzing like a champ um so great britain indifferent um at war with France and the Barbary States. So let's request a trade agreement. Perfect. My hope being if I can make Britain feel 
this trade route is worth defending, then if I start getting raided by other forces, they will come in to help free the trade. And one thing I will actually mention on the naval front is you might notice something missing in this build queue. Can you tell what it is? We have, apart from having no school, we have no naval building, so I cannot progress up the technology tree any further because I cannot build this building. The nearest, the nearest settlement that I can capture that can build this, that can build that building will be Caracas. I'm pretty sure Caracas can build it. Um, yeah, but anyway. My point is, if I'm going to have a fleet, I'm probably going to have, I'm probably going to go for the go for the navy a bit at the start to try to capture some resources and some trade nodes, because the game is broken and it makes ivory be 61 at the start, and it will not be that for very long. Um, but I'd like to get some privateers in to get them off to some trade theatres just to get some early game money, because I am so small as a nation. But it's also worth knowing, highlighting actually, is that according to this. I am being tra I'm transporting tea over land. I'm exporting when well, producing tea and I'm exporting tea to Great Britain and I have no idea where because you do not produce tea in any of these regions. I think cotton, tobacco, that one up there is cotton. There's no other mills and plantations, there's sugar. There is another that's nine mine there is coffee but i don't produce any tea so i'm really confused as to why that is there but nevertheless um, yep so i'd like to do a bit of naval stuff to capture some well, actually that's what i'm going to do off the bat just buy some indiamen to get the ball rolling and the thing to bear in mind is i am an absolute monarchy and one thing i do not have already even though i have no school as we can see, um, I already have clamour for reform. Two, I think, because I'm an because uh, because I'm an absolute monarchy. So what I'm open to doing is trying to not uh, rebel too quickly. But if I look like I'm going to rebel, then rebel to become um, the Mexican Republic. I'm keen to stay as the Mexican Empire because I'm pretty sure it's the Mexican Empire which for the Mexican-American War, I think. I don't know. I could be entirely wrong. Um, but obviously, the uh, Pueblo Nations is a prime target. I'm going to want to capture Mexico. Um, Texas, sorry. And hold it where it's rightfully meant to be. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at Mexico. It's got to be careful for industrialization in Mexico. But a big thing is, is my population is plummeting through the floor due to food shortages. Uh, my taxes are okay. What I'm, what I'm going to want to do is take this Jesuit college, knock it down and build a school to get my research going. It's worth remembering because I'm playing Darth Mod late, late campaign. A certain amount of stuff is already researched. So I've already got Canistan, I've already, I'm already up to my favourite. Actually might be worth... Mm, no, I don't need to worry about building that just yet. Um... I'll knock that down for a school and then I'll want to build up my farms because I would like to start dealing with this food shortage problem. I do have a shipyard which means I can produce f up to fourth rates currently. And I'd like to build uh, a local fishery and then let's have a look at my, well, first of all, infrastructure. Build cobble roads in Mexico. Does Guatemala have roads? You do not, so you will have basic roads. And I'll also upgrade your tenanted farms. But before I completely forget and end the turn without running out of money, I still have more trade nodes, trade routes to go for. So I'm hoping that with the Brits on my side, I can make them, they can help defend my interests um, in the Caribbean. You're also going to want a pretty stable longer term trade partner and the Ottomans are usually really good for that kind of thing. No, I am not giving you any of my regions. So, Mratha Confederacy. Good, because I'm not looking at fighting in India for a while. And then, who is Britain allied with? Allied with Austria. So, let's pick Austria as well. 
Nope, they didn't want to be involved. Sweden you, has got some quite a kick-ass navy in recent years. Good. And then that is my trade surpluses all used up. And right now no one hates me. And that's a big deal, particularly for an early developing nation. So let's hit end turn of our first turn of the Mexico campaign. <laughs> what? You want to swap Guatemala for Maria? No. Why would I do that? That's just ridiculous. Oh, speed up time. Oh, yeah. So there is about, what, seven Spanish units on my border? So I am going to want to recruit an army to head south to knock out... Um, to knock out the garrison at Panama. That it gets me an extra sugar plantation. And Britain already right off the bat is doing exactly what I hoped it would do. It's clearing the seas of potentially um, hostile navies. Because I'm assuming... I didn't... But I'm assuming France and the United States are allies. And I've really got to keep, be, keep, keep an eye out on the United States. Because as we all know, um, the United States wanted to secure... Uh, its territory during its developing years so it's going to be pushing westwards and it's ultimately going to push down into me in Texas so I would like to I'm not sure if I'm bothered about pushing up into America what I'd be interested to do is to expand and take um, the Caribbean take South America whole of North America see if they do push across the continent and if they do interesting superpower to face because to be honest right now I've got basic stuff researched like i've got um canister shot i've got bayonets like everyone everyone's got that and they're all on the same footing so my priority is gonna be fire at rank but we've pretty much got those developed armies that i really like i'm sure there's probably a there mod a in this region that is not yet i'm sure there is a mod that probably allows you to play as mexico from the get-go from the from the right the way back at the start um but I don't really want to install Darth Mod, and this worked with Darth Mod, and I thought, you know what, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So as I'm going to be building a school, religious unrest is kicking off because there's a darn English Protestant agent going through my territory. Clamour for reform is going to go up. So prioritise. Ha. Tobacco or cotton? So you see it's already come right down. Tobacco or cotton? Cotton just. So let's try and make this little territory. See if I can make it turn a profit. Um, eventually. That's a Spanish missionary, which is good. Because it's just converting me rapidly. This guy must be brilliant. Oh, three stars. Maybe there's just not much animism. Um, anyway, so let's get my navy. So I'm completely open to losing these guys. It's just to try get some quick early game income. I'm going to send them off individually. So 308. Everything's still building. So Poland is at war with Prussia. Poland's at war with Austria. Poland's at war with Russia. And I've recruited my Indiamen, so already Europe is deep into war already, and the Polish are at war with everyone, so I don't imagine they're going to last very long. Mm, mixes it up a bit. Cool. Um, because I'm such a small empire, I expect lots of turn turnover at the start of this game. <laughs> at least while I get myself established. One thing I'm probably going to do is... Oh, cool. Nice one, Spain. <laughs> ah, no one joined them. Hmm, it's going to be expected. So I'm going to recruit... Well, I'm going to have to kickstart recruiting my army um, early than anticipated and push south. Push south and then try an island hop. And I'd like the Brits to start picking on the... Picking on the um, Spanish fleets that are in the Caribbean because until I push southeast I can't do anything about it Not well I can make fourth rates fourth rates aren't terrible but I'm probably going to need loads of them if they start building um, thirds and second rates
well, France is keeping Britain down. See, if I was a good ally, I'd, put, I'd send a stack to the British coast and just sit off the sit off the coast and protect their ports. Oh, I'm going to make myself a little scotch. <coughs> this is the Lagavulin Distillers Edition. If anyone is interested, drink responsibly, everyone. I am work plenty old enough to buy and drink this. Right. So, Sweden, Stefania, Georgia. Oh, there's Punjab. Oh, they're a natural. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sounds surprised. Okay. Oh, so I haven't gone through the units. So because this is a unit that has me more mark, gives me more units, it gives me special units. So expect me to pronounce these horrifically. I'm Carabella Presidial. Has Hasares Hasares. They look pretty good. They look pretty cool. Lanceros. I'm pretty sure Lanceros is a lancer. And obviously there is no wording and cool stuff behind that. Fusileros. So what's the difference between Fusileros and... Fusileros are much more accurate. They reload faster. Oh, so they're very much range. So they've got very su much superior accuracy in reloading, but the charge bonus 3 in defence is 9 they have less attack they are significantly worse in the charge and they have less defence so I'm going to want these guys to be firing and my colonial line can do a bit more in terms of actually doing some charging got my militia, native auxiliaries as usual then dragones cool 110, 110 range hmm you expect them to be a bit short with carbines. And then I have my Clonal Dragoons. What I think I'm going to do is recruit um, one native musketman, two actually. One's going to sit in this port permanently as a garrison, and the other is going to run around between these ports to keep kicking them out. Um, am I going to build a dockyard? I think I will. So I can build some fourth rates. Because there's brigs and sloops and fifths. So there is a possibility of me getting a bit of an edge in the naval race. Guatemala is shrinking, so let's get clearances, meag yield, iron mine, meag yield, average yield, but I can't afford the upgrade. So meag yield, mine it is, minus one unhappiness for industrialization. So you need to be careful of that. Unless you might be a bit and do that. So the difference in tax is only about 500. But what I want is I want this region to grow rapidly. I don't want tax to be throttling the population too much. So we've got roads in Guatemala. Good, good, good. I can't research in tech because I've not built my school. Cool. I think I build any recruit anything else? No. Cool. In turn. Gentleman's there and waiting. What? You want me to give away my capital? Give away Guatemala? So I'll be left with Sin Santa Fe and Rupert's land. And how have you even got Rupert's land? You're Greece. Did you buy it from the Hur Huron the, the Native American faction that's up in that area. Fascinating. Oh, what I didn't check is how Spain's allies reacted. So while Spain's allies didn't join them in the war, I would be keen to know if they left their... Um, if they broke their alliances, so their alliance with the United States, for example, or maybe France. Hmm... Ministers. I have not touched my ministers. Fatal, fatal flaw. Could be missing out on some crucial early game gains. Saxony, Venice. There is unused land suitable for plant. Cool. Plantations are always a good thing. Fleet arrives. My single Mexican Indiaman. Good. Take this trade post. Even though it's not going to do you any good until I do 
this. Let's punt them out. Repair my port. Then let's put my native musket and auxiliary into my dockyard. Because they'll be really reaching if they want to try raid my fishing port. Good. Average your gold mine. Well, first, I'm going to want to build my royal palace to get the plus four oppression to start to head off any unhappiness from my... Oh no, Opera House might be a cheaper short-term solution. So let's do that. Let's do that. And I can upgrade my fishing port. Major fishery, plus six. The region wealth is good. It's that population growth. It's important right now because my population is still plummeting. Poor, no population, no armies. Even though my ports aren't doing... In terms of population growth, it aren't going very well. Food shortages are still predicted. So um, the import mechanic... Um, you know you have like manufactured goods, you just have import-export of stuff. I'm intrigued to know if that impacts food um, popular food shortages. Because it feels like it should. It feels like if you're importing more goods, or you have more capacity to import more goods, then you've got that option to import food from around the world. That's the glory of free trade. But I don't know. It's never been a problem. Population growth in this game has never really been a problem for me it's for, it's yet. And I've got about pushing 700 hours, which compared to you guys is probably not much at all. But oh, there are naturally occurring Ooh, resources perfect. in this region that are not. So let's get this missionary up to Mexico to stop to counteract this missionary because he is creating religious unrest where I don't need, particularly when. Industrialization is going to go up by three because of all these mines. Okay. Hmm. So right now, the Spanish aren't charging at me, so I think I might be okay for a bit. Let's go this iron workshops and no, let's get the royal palace to get that repression it's a long-term building so if i buy this now next time i can build some industrial buildings and they'll finish at roughly the same time and roughly cancel each other out grand columbia's alliance with britain's broken perfect saxony's been destroyed who buy the prussians obviously just make sure nothing weird well well greece swapped a territory with the the native americans Huh. Some people... Oh, God alive, what is this? Russia's swapped territory with Grand Columbia. Yeah, you know, Grand Columbia traded away Caracas. So if I take that, if I take Bogota, Colombia's gone. Well, I'm going to be at war. Well, I don't have to be at war. Well, I am going to be at war with Russia, I suppose. Cool. One more turn to you've grown. Aha! I can research things, but I've not spent money on upgrading things. So, let's get you working on long time measuring tools. That's the closest thing for now. Santa Fe is still shrinking, but cotton exports. Upgrade your ports. So, this is their own region, but I'm wondering if I captured Texas, will that open up export? Because they can export one territory over, but the problem is, is that they're more than one territory. Unless they upgrade roads, maybe? I don't know. Mexico is growing at a paltry rate of four per turn. It's enlightenment that really allows you to grow. Food shortages are predicted to get worse. I think my next step is to build a couple of whatever happened there. I think my next step is to build a couple of fourth rates and attack that Spanish fleet and start to try and expand my uh, Mexican navy by capturing hostile forces where possible, especially tasty little ships like that, brigs and fifth rates. Naples, Maratha. Let's 
Savoy. Right. I'm intrigued. I've never played as a minor nation before. I normally play as the big ones. So it'd be interesting to watch how the AI kind of manages. Because normally the AI, if you're a major nation, goes aggro on you. Whereas when you're a minor nation, they've not really got much reason to. I mean, Spain does. Because I hold most of its old tree. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port. Oh, fishery. Cool. Let's bring you over to New Spain. You've just crossed the border, so you'll start converting and knocking down this religious unrest. Construction forward. Good. Got a dockyard. The alliance with Quebec and Britain has broken. 5,000. To be honest, I might be better off with fifths. So they've got a fifth and a brig and a sloop. So if I built an admiral's fifth, a fifth, a sixth. Ooh, a sloop of war. It's more firepower. Let's do that. Ministers! Forgot ministers. Damn it. He is brilliant. What does he do? Plus one management, plus one happiness, plus one management, minus two for treasury. Plus one management for treasury, plus one management for treasury. I'm intrigued to put him in treasury just to see what he does. That and my treasury is. Well, that's just brilliant. Plus one to justice. Minus two treasury, that's fine. Well, I am definitely going to place him in justice because it, off it makes it very off putting to see uh, George Washington as the. Justice Minister for the Mexican government. Two, three, two, three, three, Navy. Justice. So um, if I swap them with the army. No, I'll keep the navy for now, because the navy's what I've got. What about you? A uh, patron of the navy. Ooh, so I might put him in the army. Good. Got a four. Jughead, Somalia. I'm tempted to swap them over just to see what. I know he's a patron, but I've at least got rid of the clamour for a form that that guy was imbuing as the judge. Cool. Right. End turn. Yeah, this is a pretty. I think this is a pretty standard start for a minor nation. You're trying to get your footing set in. You're against an old, your former colonial master. You've got not much money. And they're blockading my single port. But that's why I need my navy. Oh, pardon me. Right. Yeah, so my immediate plan... Oh, so this campaign, if you've got this far to the end, I should really have highlighted it, actually, at the start. Um, I didn't record the picking of the campaign because it's got lots of patriot music on it. Um, but this is uh, World Domination, I think. I think it's World Domination. There I could just... Suitable for plantations in this region. Ooh, plantations here... Good, UP and Brits have broken up. Great Britain and Prussia has broken up. Um, campaign. 45 regions. Yeah, I think it's world domination. A long campaign was 30, um, but it's not too difficult to make a 45 nation. To catch, for, to catch a 45 nations, I don't think. Opera House is bought, so they must be a bit happier, sort of. I want to upgrade my school but at the same time people are unhappy so I might start forming up an army to head down towards Panama so let's buy some infantry I might have to stick with more militia than anything at the minute well, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm actually, I am going to buy some more economic buildings. 
lost 1200 to turn wealth makes him a bit more unhappy. Royal, Observ Royal Observatory next turn. That's going to be the buy. It's going to make people unhappy from industrialization. But my Royal Palace is kicking in, which gives me plus four repression. And now I am, I am, I am forgetting about these, but they're just not as not as important right now. All of my wealth is concentrated in Mexico City, so that is the absolute priority. I'll tell you, pretty hot off the presses for you guys, because I'm recording it on the day that the campaign's finished, and it's going to be the next video I've uploaded, because I've deliberately not uploaded any videos until this vote, because I wanted um, my new one to start right off the bat. Oh good, they've split their fleet. Oh good, and they've used it to, f to fish. As long as they're not pointing it at me, or sending it to my trade theatres, I'm happy. That's for a nation like me. A nation like mine. <laughs> so the runner-up was the Italian states. But that's a fascinating option, because... For me, as far as I can see, you've got two strands. You either go for Spain, right off the bat, right in the jugular, you take Naples, you take Sardinia... And maybe Milan? And then try to declare peace. You do that as quickly as possible and declare peace. Because the AI has got a thing where if you... Um, if they lose a lot of territory or take a lot of losses quickly enough, they decide to... Oh, there are naturally they decide that peace is good. In this region that are not Two sixths. Well, because I'm rubbish at naval battles, I'm just going to let that roll. I'm going to let my recruitment carry on. Let's buy, a f buy two fourths, so I'm feeling flush. Ooh, infrastructure. No, not infrastructure. What was I going to buy? I was going to buy the observatory, which I can't do. So instead I'm going to build a drill school, which allows me to get grenadiers, frontiersmen, who look pretty cool, elite light infantry. And but importantly, they open up fire by rank. So I've completely changed my strategy. Unless... Keep spreading the wealth. Keep spreading the wealth and sporadically recruit things for my army. Cool. Anyway, looking at the time, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this first part. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what's all. Oh, Prussia's taken Montreal and the United States have taken Niagara. So they've gone pretty aggressive off the bat. Cool. Savoy traded away Northwest Territories for that. Oh, Savoy traded Sardinia away for Northwest Territories. Cool. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.